Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Apple report for Friday, March 1st, 2024. Let's take a look at the charts. Start with the big picture, work our way into the day itself. Uh, this just once again illustrates a longer term channel support at 175.08. This descending structure we settled above several months ago fell back to it uh, in... Um, Boy, I think that was January, Feb, uh, January, December, January, whatever the case may be. I could count the bars and tell you exactly, but it did hold selling pressures uh, and we got a nice pop out of it. And so this is kind of a consolidated framework here for the last few months, but uh, you're bottom picking 175.08. There's a lot going on in the mid 170s, as I've been showing now uh, for the last few weeks. You also have a newly formed descending channel bottom. I say newly formed. It's based on that late January high uh, from about a month ago at 175.44. 175.08 is that channel top I showed just previously on the weekly chart. 174.05 is the same channel top on the weekly chart at 175.08, but on the daily chart. So you've got that all down here. The question is whether we're going to see this area anytime soon. And the answer for me is yes, if we close below 180.38. A trend line channel structure combination we've certainly spiked below the last few days, especially uh, Tuesday and Thursday, but not yet closed below it. And so for me, settlement based signals on a daily chart are everything. And unless we close below 180.38, this market actually can be bought in anticipation. I'm talking to three to five day swing traders now in anticipation of 184.60. On the way up today, I've got 182.24. Um, it's not shown, but it's a simple trend line coming across the highs that we've had as an intraday level pretty much most of the week. And if we push through 182.24 today, I I do see 184.60 as in reach today where we can place a daily high possibly into later week. So, you know, these are session containment levels, able to contain daily selling and daily buying pressures, but three three to five day swing traders can trade them. You know, if you've been bottom picking uh, this 180.38 level, obviously you've been waiting for 184.60. The market hasn't given that to you, but it's giving you several points each and every day. 184.60, if tested today, can contain session strength, possibly in a later week. And if we close above 184.60, 188.90, our next three to five day target where we could top out through next week, possibly into later March. So, you know, we have these session containment levels. If you were um, trading the two to three week time frame, you know, either buying or selling the market over the course of two to three weeks, that comes with either uh, the market falling into the mid 170s as shown earlier. And that becomes indicated over the next three to five days if we close today below 180.38. Until then, I see 184.60 as our likely target. Uh, and if we close above 184.60, 188.90 within three to five days, which is our next two to three week sell opportunity. So you're buying the mid 170s, two to three week swing traders, selling the upper 180s, 188.90, uh, where we could fall back perhaps into the mid 170s within two to three, three to five weeks. Um, if we were to close above 188.90, two to three weeks, swing traders go long, stay long into the mid to upper 190s. So 195.12 to 197.10 region is our meaningful midterm resistance. If tested over the next, say, three to five weeks, able to contain buying possibly through all of April by that point of time, and we could fall away. It would be a settlement above 197.10 that would break us out of this sort of two-sided framework that we've been in. Really, you can go all the way back to November of last year, and that should then set the market on a clear bullish path as we move through the second quarter and even into later year. I've been talking about that 238.46 four-year channel top as a longer-term objective, and if we were to close above that 197.10 level, this could be a three to five-month move, perhaps. Um, anything else to say? I will say while we're looking at this chart, and it's not going to happen today, but if by the end of next week we close below the 175.08 channel top, we have a two to three, three to five week sell signal back to 162.72 to 164.13, where we could actually bottom out um, really through the rest of the year and above which 
uh, this 238.46 formation, I'm going to keep calling it a longer-term objective, despite the fact the market has been in this sort of kind of two-sided uh, framework, uh, a wild two-sided framework nonetheless, but a two-sided framework following the buy signal really above this 162.72 formation in May of last year. Um, anything else to say? I really don't think so. Um, just going to remind you that this week, a Wicked Stocks put out two stock picks, uh, one on Google, the other on Macy's, both of which are approaching a meaningful uh, line studies that have a three to five week to out to three to five month directional implications. You may want to check that out. Um, you can check it out for free, actually, by signing up for WickedStocks.com. We give you five days free up front. If you don't like what you see, you can bow out at no cost to you whatsoever. You also get daily triple Q and spy analysis with that every single day, as well as weekly analysis in the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and the long bond ETF, the T. LT. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, please click like, share, subscribe. I'll be back Sunday afternoon with Monday's Apple report. And you have a great weekend.